Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the tragedy out of Moscow, Idaho. Four college students brutally stabbed in the middle of the night in a home. Police have made zero arrests. Who did it? Now, I've been analyzing and inspecting the four victims' associates, people that are centered around them, and there's names. There's names. We will be releasing those names very soon. Hopefully, police are also looking at these individuals. Now, let's talk about other missing person cases in the area now that we have attention going on in the Moscow area. There's another case, unsolved. Could this be related? Could it not? You decide. Check it out. This is the case of missing Gayla Shaper. Gayla Christine Shaper. Missing since June 29th, 1979. Latuck County, Idaho. Female, white race. 28 years old at the time of her disappearance, 5'8", 135 pounds. Details of disappearance. Shaper was last seen when her husband dropped her off at a pasture near the family's daily farm on Lenville Road, southeast of Moscow, Idaho, at 7 p.m. on June 29, 1979. She was preparing to feed their, their two horses. Her husband was going into town to run some errands and would be back to pick her up. When he returned 45 minutes later, Shaper wasn't there. Her husband initially assumed she'd gone to see her parents who lived nearby, but this turned out not to be the case. After searching their farm for several hours, at midnight, he reported her missing. Some clothing was found in a nearby meadow, but Shaper herself has never been located. She wasn't carrying any identification at the time of her disappearance. During the several months prior to Shaper's disappearance, she and her husband had gotten strange telephone calls, often in the middle of the night. On Good Friday of 1979, the couple got an anonymous note that said, Only you have sold out to Satan, written in cut-out letters from magazines and newspapers. The person behind the letter and phone calls has never been identified and it's unclear if the communications were related to Shaper's later disappearance. About two months after Shaper was last seen, her mother got two strange phone calls, in both of them a female voice asking for help as soon as her mother picked up the phone, but then hung up without giving time for a response. Shaper's mother thought the calls could be from her daughter. The police put a recording device on her phone in case the person called back, but they never did. Shaper's husband was initially considered a suspect in her disappearance, but he passed a polygraph in 1993 and was cleared of involvement. He remarried after Shaper went missing and still lives in the local area. Larry Hagedorn lived close to the pasture Shaper disappeared from. In February 1994, his son, William, was convicted in the shooting death of his living girlfriend. William is presently serving a life term in prison. There were some accounts that William killed his girlfriend because she found out he and Larry had killed Shaper. When the police asked William about this, he refused to confirm or deny it, saying, I don't want to hurt my dad. Later, Larry was considered a person of interest in Shaper's case. He owned a backhoe and was ex excavating his property and burying trash at the time she disappeared. A search of the Haydorn property turned up no evidence. However, and Larry passed a polygraph in connection with the disappearance. He died in 2005. Shaper's case remains unsolved. She was involved with her church and had a stable home life at the time of her disappearance and isn't thought to have walked out of her life. Authorities believe she was taken against her will. And here is another case in the Moscow, Idaho area that has been unsolved since 1979. Gayla Shaper, missing. Ish Gayla connected, her case connected with the four stabbings? Probably not. But the case remains unsolved, just like these four stabbings. But rest assured, 
Authorities are closing in on the individuals responsible for these recent stabbings. November 13th, 2022 in the morning. I'm going to be sharing some videos of some individuals. Individuals that are part of a fraternity. Sigma Chi. A fraternity that is within eye distance of the home where these four people were stabbed for innocent people. And trust me, police are closing in on individuals. They know. And whoever did this is going to be held accountable. And authorities are coming. They are coming. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I got videos coming out very, very soon. Interesting stuff. It's time to expose people that need to be exposed. Everyone be safe. God bless.